So good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm very happy to give a talk here. So thanks, uh, my friends, and the Dean and the Simon, and for your uh, arrangement. So also thank you very much for arranging this program for our students. I think this is a very uh, wonderful and very exciting program. I think, uh, yeah, I think my students also enjoy this life here very, very much. And uh, this beautiful city, and uh, yeah. So anyway, thank you. So this talk is based on our past couple of years access to dense nuclear matter to look at the uh, new states in a nuclear system at uh, extreme conditions at a very high density. Yeah. So the physics here, uh, how to say, the uh, experimental uh, test or uh, should, should go to the compact stars because the, the density is very, very high. So this is the motivation for uh, uh, this work. So I think, uh, you know, uh, at, uh, for nuclear physics at low density, it's uh, well, very well studied in the past couple of decades. And uh, we know how to handle the physics below, uh, at, at least at low density, especially below uh, normal nuclear matter density. But at, for physics above this density, there are many, many approaches like uh, Carroll effect theory, density functional, and blah, blah, blah. So they give various predictions for the equation of states. So you can see this, is a, this picture tells you the, uh, the, what's the density dependence of a symmetry energy at high density. So it's a totally mess. So we don't know how to control it. So I think uh, uh, then the problem here might be uh, like uh, in the approach based on effective theory, only in hydronic, hy hydronic degrees of freedom, and also only based on like, some model like based only on pion nuclear, and probably some other degrees of freedom, like uh, rho omega will enter this system. We don't know how to control it. So anyway, it means we don't know how to, uh, what is the matter this high density region made of. And we don't know how to simulate a nuclear force. So at high density, probably the power counting mechanism of uh, carry effective, uh, carry effective field theory uh, fails. Anyway, we don't know how to control it. So that's why we have many, many models because different uh, predictions. Yeah, please. Can I ask you? Yeah. Yeah. When you speak about compact stars, what yeah. do you mean with white dwarf, quark stars, or what? what uh, you don't, we don't know what happens in the core of the compact star. So we, normally we construct a model and then predict like the mass radius relation and some quantity to compare with the observation. So people said some, 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 somehow quark will enter in the dense system, but there are some models said, OK, hydron is enough. So compact uh, uh. has nothing uh, to do with uh, the size of star? Uh, Just more, uh, it on density? Yeah, it depends on density. But so there are some observation, like uh, the, the radius of a star. For theoretical, we don't know. That's the theoretical approach. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, at this moment, we know that one of the, obviously, the most powerful uh, access to nuclear physics or hydron physics uh, is uh, based on the uh, lattice calculation. But for this high density system, uh, very low, t low temperature, high density system, the lattice simulation does not work so because of the uh, sun problem. So, th this means we cannot dis distinguish so many equal states from fundamental QCD. So we don't, we, yeah. Then uh, let, let's, let, let, let's look at the physics from very low density, from high density, related to your uh, question. What, what, what kind of degrees from them will enter this system? Of course, at a very low density, we know there are hydrons. So pion, nuclear, and some colorless objects. But uh, uh, density, when density becomes higher, then when the hydrons get together uh, closer and closer, Probably, probably, let me say, exactly speaking, the uh, hydron will break and some uh, color degrees from them will enter the system. So uh, they say there, there, there is some uh, mixed state, hydron and uh, quarks and glue are mixed states. So, and then at a very high density, of course, then the hydron totally uh, breaks. So only quarks enter the system. At, at this region, when somehow that's this what I said, this low density region, we know how to handle it from uh, like uh, from effective theory. And also at the very high density region, we somehow we know like from probability of QCD or some from quite model calculation. But for this uh, intended energy uh, density region, at this moment, uh, there are uh, no 
uh, definite method to uh, handle this uh, physics in this region. But this region is very close to the uh, physics of uh, stars. So this, this region is like uh, uh, f from five to seven uh, and normal nuclear mass density from this region. So our approach is we want to construct a unified effective theory in terms of hadrons based on hidden topology and hidden symmetries which are not visible in the matter-free space. So that's why we, saw, we, call, we call it hidden. So you see in the matter-free space, like in zero temperature, zero density, we don't know. This, this, this symmetry and these objects are, uh, does not appear. <coughs> so then how to test, let me see. Uh, as I said uh, before, at the high density region, we don't know how to control the physics because the, uh, yeah, for the experimental uh, observation, we don't have enough data. But recently, I think we will have more and more uh, data and more and more observation so we can test or some, in some sense constrain our equation of state, then constrain the model we constructed to look at the physics, uh, like the uh, Tudor deformability in the, in the star which uh, could be estimated from the gravitational wave uh, observation. So this is, uh, like for example, this number is for the 1.4 solar mass neutral star. And this is, uh, our, literally our define this quantity. This is a combined or mass-weighted tail deformability, which is related to the uh, neutral star uh, gravitational observation in the bio system, binary system. So also from this uh, gravitational wave observation, we can constrain the pressure of the nuclear matter system. Uh, for example, for this uh, two and zero system, we can constrain the pressure like this. And uh, for six and zero system, we can constrain the pressure like this. Uh, unfortunately, for this low density region, as I said, it's well studied. So this constraint does not give us so much, uh, so much uh, information on the nuclear matter because many, many models satisfy this constraint. But for the high density, uh, uh, pressure, we can get some, get some constraints. So another point uh, for the astrophysics observation is the massive neutral stars. So in the, in the past couple of years, there are some uh, massive stars observed around uh, two times normal nuclear matter, uh, no, sorry, two times uh, solar mass neutral star. So this gives uh, some constraint on the equation of state, like, uh, like uh, what I plot here. Constraint. So if, if, if your equation of state, uh, the pr your prediction of equation of state, like uh, the, up, the, the upper mass around this region, some of this is problematic. So this is our motivation, as I said. Then we use this uh, astrophysics observation to, con to uh, test our model. So then, what is the foundation of, later I will define what, is, what means pseudo-conformal. This, uh, uh, this is the name of uh, our model. So, uh, we combine this, this uh, uh, consideration in our model. First is the hidden topology. So this uh, consideration uh, gives the uh, uh, microscoped degrees of freedom, uh, quarks and gluons, then enters our system through the uh, chess cat principle that I will explain. The another point is the hidden symmetries in QCD. For the hidden scale symmetry, you know, in, in matter-free space, uh, in QCD, hidden symmetry is broken. Uh, so that's why it's hidden. And also the other one is the hidden local fluid symmetry. We combine this information. And then hidden part W structure of nuclear. So we will com uh, I will explain this uh, one by one. So let's see what means the pseudo-conformal. So pseudo-conformal means if you look at the model, our model, the prediction of our model. So this is the trace of energy momentum. You can find the trace of energy momentum first decrease, then goes to like a constant at high density region. But this is non-zero. So it means scale symmetry is still broken, this system. So this is not more invariant. But if you look at the system, because this is a density, inv density uh, invariant quantity, of course in current limit, but we think if you consider small, uh, cu small current quantum mass, this does not break so much. Uh, this is, this is uh, density in uh, invariant quantity, invariant. Then if you look at, if you uh, define the, uh, how to say, uh, derive the sound velocity in this system, you, in this system, you will find the sound velocity, the behavior sound velocity as a function of density like this. So this line is the constraint from the conformal equation, the sound velocity. So for the conformal invariant quantity, the sound velocity should satisfy this constraint. So it means, you can say, our model at high density approach to the conformal uh, invariant limit. 
So that's why we see this is pseudo conformal. So pseudo means this is not conformal, but conformal means this is the sound velocity approach to conformal limits. So, uh, yeah, this is this is this is uh, what I explained. So then, if you are familiar with nuclear physics, you may see there are also some models predict the sound velocity, the density dependence of sound velocity like this. Then why it is new? So this is standard scenario in, in nuclear physics. Uh, the idea, the, 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 uh, uh, the density dependence of sound velocity. So people found that first, of course, there are so, like I said, there are a couple of models can predict sound, sound velocity approach to conformal limit, but it, it happens at a very high density region. This is a 50 times N0. So this is very, very high. So it, somehow it's, uh, we think it's not so closely related to the nuclear physics. And also people found if the sound velocity uh, uh, approach, to, approach to the uh, conformal limit at a low density, then the model cannot predict uh, massive neutral star approach to two point solar mass. So this is standard scenario in the nuclear physics. First, uh, of course, there, there are some models can predict sound velocity uh, at high density region. But uh, 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 if, if we extend uh, this to this high, low density region, then the uh, predicted uh, neutral star mass is very low, cannot uh, get this uh, massive neutral star. So then our model gives different uh, picture. So if you look at, you can see our model, this sound velocity, uh, no, sorry, sound velocity approach conformal limits at uh, uh, 204, 5, somehow, this uh, anyway, below 10 and 0. So this is totally different from this prediction. So that's why we think this is a uh, new physics. Of course, this is because this is a very high density region, and this uh, is the, the density region where perturbative QCD works. This is a nearly conformal, inver uh, conformal invariant. This is a perturbative QCD region works area. So beta function is very small. But here, uh, so this is a not conformal invariant. So that this is, the, I think this, I explained the model, what is the model, and what is the uh, main, in, uh, main points in the model. So let me explain roughly uh, one by one. So what is the topology in this system? So people know that so we can study uh, background physics at larger NC limits uh, by using topology objects like soliton. So we regard this solid, but of course uh, in QCD, uh, NC is not uh, uh, so large. So that's why we see this soliton is uh, hidden objects in the low density region. Uh, and then we use this, uh, some information to simulate nuclear matter from the soliton object. Uh, so how to simulate this? We regard the nuclear matter at a high density as, a, uh, as, a, as like a solid objects, uh, condensed matter physics using crystal approach by solid, put soliton to the to the crystal structure, then simulate the matter density to see. Because for the specific uh, crystal uh, configuration, we can define density in this system. Yeah. So then, what, what, what we can get, let's say at a high density, uh, very low density, if a uh, very huge crystal size, if you choose uh, like a FCC, phase state and cubic crystal, you can see the uh, the distribution of uh, winding number density, which is identified as barrel number density in this system, the distribution like this, if this is the one uh, surface of uh, this FCC. But if you uh, suppress this system, you will find that there's a, uh, uh, there, there's a sud uh, suddenly change of the, of the uh, crystal structure from this FCC to the cubic crystal. So if you count the winding number in this area, you integrate this, this area, the, uh, this system is winding number one, but uh, this area is winding number uh, a half. So the, we see this is the, there's a topology change from, from low density to uh, high density. Yeah, this is from the basic uh, uh, symmetry consideration uh, from the distribution. So this is the, uh, uh, to my opinion, this is the intrinsic mathematical property of QCD at low uh, energy if you regard the non-linearization of QCD as a, uh, yeah, if you accept this opinion. And also this is a model and a crystal uh, uh, structure independent. Model means if you starting from this uh, nonlinearization of effective model, including more degree freedom like a rho and omega, uh, later I will show you, you can find that this topology change does not, uh, uh, is robust. I mean, of course the change density is slightly different, but uh, the, the, the topology change is still here. And the crystal independent, I mean, 
it's independent of a choice of this FCC or CC at the very beginning. Of course, if you choose CC, this will be BCC. Somehow. There are some studies in the li literature. Uh, I will not repeat it here. Anyway, this uh, topology change is uh, robust. Then what is the topology change? So if you look at the uh, space average of uh, uh, Kicker bar uh, condensate in this system, you can simulate this. Then you can find, uh, you will see at a uh, large crystal size, first this space average uh, of a Kicker bar decreases as a function of uh, a crystal size. Uh, then it means it uh, decreases when the density becomes higher. You know, this side from uh, big crystal size to, oh, sorry, uh, the big crystal size to a smaller crystal size means uh, from smaller density to a high density. So then it first decreases, then goes to a zero. So this is, uh, remember this is in carry limit, uh, and the, 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 this uh, quark mass correction is very small, but anyway, this uh, uh, is, is robust, there's not a change. Then, if you look at the solitone mass as a, uh, in this system, you will find first the solitone mass uh, decreases, uh, then after this topology change, it goes as a, it goes as a uh, constant. So this is the uh, prediction of uh, this model. So if you, uh, because at this uh, high density region or small crystal size region, this Kicker bar condensate, space average is zero, and uh, it means nuclear mass has a part of uh, uh, component comes from uh, gluon condensate, like some other condensate, or, or, or multi-quark condensate, other than this Kicker bar. Uh, so we regard this uh, uh, this left mass as a, a priority W structure in the nuclear nuclear physics. Yeah. Then you may ask whether there is a symmetry restoration. Yeah, please. Can I ask you, yeah. Question concerning this uh, crystallization mm. phenomenon for the mm. metal high density. <coughs> uh, does it mean that uh, they are possible to observe? Uh, Stars of cubic form, because if you have cubic crystal. Ah, later in our simulation, we will uh, uh, we will use effectively uh, we, we will uh, uh, encode the uh, quantitative uh, conclusion to the carry effective theory, including barons and degrees of freedom. You know, of course, we know this uh, high density uh, nuclear matter is not uh, crystal and uh, something like liquid or something something. And uh, there yeah. Yeah. Uh, there are some prediction. Yeah, but in, in, our, in, our, in, our, in our let me say in our system, we uh, we uh, how to say we just uh, we did not specific spe uh, we did not uh, use a specific crystal uh, structure. That's my answer for this. I will explain how to simulate our uh, equation of states using this idea. Yeah. So. Then you may ask whether there is a uh, th there is a phase transition in this system. So if you look at this, uh, uh, oh, sorry, I write this. I, I thought probably my student will come here, so that's why I write a couple of Chinese characters. <laughs> but anyway, let, let me explain in English. So if you look at the distribution of the Kicker bar condensate, uh, the local distribution, instead of uh, look at this space average, you will find the Kicker bar uh, condensate does not vanish. At even at this very high density region, or half, or this uh, uh, topology after this topology change, and uh, uh, this means in this system we don't have uh, uh, phase transition like from Carroll uh, symmetry broken phase to Carroll restor rest restoration phase. Actually, uh, I did not plot this. Actually, if you plot this uh, uh, f pi as a function of uh, uh, crystal size or a function as a function of density, its behavior is very similar to this. So first. Uh, decrease then stay as a constant. So this f pi, f pi, you know, f pi is a uh, is a, is a order parameter of a carrier symmetry uh, breaking. So this means in this system there is no uh, uh, phase transition. Yeah. So uh, topology change does not mean this phase transition in this system. Then what is the uh, meaning of uh, topology change on the on the nuclear matter uh, equilibrium state? The one of the interesting prediction is we think is the symmetry energy, which accounts for the uh, difference between the proton and the neutron in the nuclear matter. So this is the definition of symmetry energy. So as I, as I show you at the very beginning, uh, there are the models. This prediction is uh, is very mass at high density region. Then our prediction is if you look at this crystal structure, 
our prediction is this is topology change point. So after this topology change, this symmetry energy increases as a function of uh, density. So our prediction is different from this, uh, uh, the other model prediction. Uh, you may see this also, okay, this is another model, so it's nonsense. You give, <laughs> give just uh, uh, a different uh, approach. Then let, let, uh, let, let, me, let me see what is the, what is the uh, meaning of this, uh, uh, this uh, increase. And, uh, and oh, oh, let me see. So uh, why I see the, uh, oh, another point is the, this increase of uh, symmetry energy of the function density uh, does not depend on the degrees of freedom you included in the system. So here I show you different plot included. This, uh, this is an original uh, approach only including pion in the system. So if I include rho and omega, we will find this after topology change, this increasing the tendency is uh, still there, so does not change. So it means this uh, increasing situation is, uh, uh, is not changed by including more degrees of freedom. So of course, as, as I said, at, as, at low density, we, we know this nuclear matter is not a crystal, it's not a, it's probably like a liquid, uh, from a liquid or something. Then we don't use, one point is we don't use the exact number of this prediction to, to uh, to predict our equation of liter, our equation of state of a neutral star. We just uh, incorporate the tendency of uh, uh, this, uh, uh, this conclusion to the, our equation of states. So at low density, we use the what was obtained by effective theory. At high density, we use this tendency. So we have two density dependence. So this is uh, what we were incorporated in our, uh, in our model to, to a calculation. Then what means topology change in the, uh, in the, in the uh, uh, nuclear matter? So topology change, so we can regard this uh, by using, uh, as, as a quark hydron continuity, uh, by using the idea of a Chesakad principle. The principle actually is very uh, simple. That means, uh, just say, how to say, the cat uh, lives, but smile is still here. So let me explain you. So we can think nucleon or nuclear matter is made of a, a bag, and inside the bag there are quarks and uh, gluon degrees of freedom. Outside the bag there are hydrons, colorless hydrons. Here is meson. Here, here there are mesons, and uh, the baron number is carried by topology outside this this uh, this bag. So. Uh, then also the barrel number inside the bag is carried by quark. We can define the quark carrier barrel number like one or NC, something like this. The outside is, is a topology object. Then the barrel number or barrel charge in the whole system is, uh, uh, is a sum of uh, uh, these two parts. So in the inside, outside. And also uh, if you choose specific, uh, specific uh, uh, angle of specific uh, 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 angle in this system, you can find you can define barrel number inside uh, is a half outside is another half. This looks like very similar to the uh, half winding number objects. But this uh, then the Chesakad principle tells us uh, for the physical quantity, no matter you choose the size of this uh, bag size, the physical quantity is independent of this choice. So a typical example is to look at this uh, fluid singlet axial charge uh, in this in this model calculation. So uh, uh, this is not my work, I'll just refer here. So inside the, inside the bag, uh, there are quarks and the gluons. So outside the bag, there are pions uh, in the prime. So topology is here, quark number is carried by quark, is, uh, part of it is here. Then there's, of course, there's a matching condition, like uh, you make this colorless and uh, somehow boundary condition. There's a boundary condition here. So if you use this model to just int introduce the U1 extra charge to calculate this quantity, you will find uh, this, is the, this black line is the prediction of uh, this quantity in terms of the uh, bag size. So no matter, this, you say this quantity is nearly independent of this uh, bag size. So when bag size is zero, this comes, comes zero, it's only a pion left. When bag size is uh, like it's, it's one, like the normalized is one, then only quarks include. So Chesa Kett principle tells us this gives uh, uh, th th this physical quantity is independent of uh, uh, bag size. Bag size, when bag size uh, is zero, it means the cat left. 
smile is here. <laughs> yeah, that's why we, we, we related this uh, uh, topology change. Uh, how can we relate this topology change as a uh, quark hydron continuity? We, we use this principle. Uh, another point I want to say is this, uh, uh, after this topology change, if you look at the profile function of a pair in the, uh, uh, in, in the, in the, in the, let me at this moment use a phase, although there's no phase transition. <laughs> in the half square mu phase, okay, let me see, the, the half, half winding number uh, region. So if you look at the profile function of this pair at this half winding number region, you will see this, uh, this is in the uh, winding number one region. The profile as a function of uh, uh, curl size or as a function of density. That's give you some idea. Then it means you, if, you, if you look at this quantity, you will find at the high density region or a smaller curl size region, the profile of of of, of soliton is independent of uh, uh, curl size in, 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 in the uh, half winding number region. So it means this no matter you suppress this term system. It does not uh, interact so strongly. So strongly, so it looks like uh, 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 largely undistorted by strong interaction. So this resembles this landau fermi liquid fixed point theory, where this speed function for the quasi particle interaction is suppressed. So it's nearly independent of this uh, quantity. So this this is numerical. This gives an explanation of uh, our uh, the picture in the in the in the in the region after topology change. So this is the uh, uh, this is the, uh, uh, how to uh, connect our topology change with this quark hydron continuity. So uh, recently, uh, I want to repeat this here just, just to tell you the conclusion. Uh, recently, there is an idea to look at this uh, QCD at one flavor, so NF equals one. So, you know, QCD at one flavor case, we cannot define uh, Carol Soliton, so because this, 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 this is zero, right? But recently, there is a, a work, I just tell you, they proposed a model for these uh, barons where the barons are interpreted as a quantum hole droplet. So uh, then they can describe the such baron in the large NC limit by, looking at the, by using the effective Lag Lagrangian of eta prime, only consider eta prime. This result is the U1 carrier anomaly. So just give you this. And uh, so anyway, this, we, 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 we connected this uh, topology change with quark hydron continuity using this. Uh, uh, Chase kind of principle. Then the, the next quantity is hidden symmetry. So firstly, the is, is a hidden local symmetry we use. Hidden local symmetry, if you look at the nonlinear effective theory, you can uh, cut this uh, uh, polar, polarized form of a pion field into actually as many as, uh, uh, as many times as you like. So for example, for one case, you can send which a unit uh, uh, Unit matrix, then this can be product of a unitary matrix in this region. Then this is a local, if you regard this as a local, you can define local field uh, in this uh, system. And uh, introduce gauge field and uh, uh, define after symmetry breaking, there is a massive gauge field that appears. This gives probably can be uh, regarded as a rule and the omega meson uh, by uh, choose a specific uh, uh, value of uh, parameters. So this is a long time ago. Uh, 30 years ago proposed by these people. Yeah. So the idea is totally different from, you know, like in Wallensical model, there are, uh, there are also rho and omega, but they just introduced by hand. There's no symmetry principle in their, in their system. Here we have a symmetry principle uh, uh, method to in introduce this uh, 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 massive resonance in the, uh, in the system. Of course, there are many, many arguments in the past 30 years how to construct uh, power counting and uh, what's the prediction of uh, qu physical quantities. Anyway, this model at meta free space even, uh, the prediction is not so bad. Uh, so we, we want to use this at a high density region. So then, uh, why we, uh, uh, how, how to think of this, uh, this uh, hidden flavor symmetry? You know, in meta, as I said, in meta-free space, we don't have this hidden flavor symmetry in QCD. That, that does not appear. So there is a so-called Suzuki theorem in, in, last, uh, in 2017. Uh, uh, they, 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 they regard this, uh, uh, what they say is that if there is a, 
uh, if you construct a, 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 a gauge invariant local field theory by only consider meta field theory, so there's in, in, inevitably there will appear composite vector object or uh, goes, uh, vector object in the system. So in this system, in our this hidden flavor symmetry case, this uh, uh, gauge boson is uh, rho and omega. So in some sense, very similar to composite particle of a pion and something like that. So oh, as I said, this is very low density region or metal free space, so uh, there's uh, no this uh, uh, hidden flavor symmetry. Then we think or we promise there's a or vector manifestation fixed point at a very high density. Of course, this I uh, forgot to mention. This vector manifestation, uh, uh, vector manifestation fixed point is studied by using uh, QCD renormalization group. But if you extend the theory to very high uh, scale and match it to QCD, you will find the hidden gauge coupling constant. So the, the, this coupling constant uh, corresponds to this uh, uh, gauge symmetry. The hidden coupling, uh, gauge, hidden uh, gauge coupling constant goes to zero at a very high scale, then it means the rule meson goes to zero. So this is very similar to the uh, standard gauge boson in uh, gauge field theory. So our premise is this, there is a VM fixed point. As this is a predicted as a, uh, as a, as a metal free space, but as, at a very high, uh, uh, high uh, scale. So uh, we, we promise there is a, we, we am fixed point at a high density at which this M rho goes to zero. So we just borrow this idea, high scale uh, idea to the high density. And uh, then where this point is, uh, uh, is local, is unknown precisely, but uh, for compact star physics, it should be uh, very high, uh, more than like 20 uh, and zero. Uh, it's, it's, yeah. So we, we use this as an input. Then hidden scale symmetry. Uh, I, I think I, will, I, I don't want to see so much about this. If you, you simply look at this uh, uh, linear Siegel model, SU2 linear Siegel model, you can find by uh, tuning these parameters, uh, you can always, we can always write this Lagrangian in term, uh, and uh, uh, introduce a field like this. We can uh, how say we use this as a weak coupling limit. This lambda is, uh, is is parameter with coupling limit. Then write down this rewrite this Lagrangian in terms of this form. This is a, uh, this is a scale invariant, but uh, attribute the scale symmetry breaking term to the potential. So somehow we say this is a, we can tune this parameter to the scale invariant uh, form and with the scale non-invariant form to the, uh, which is uh, uh, which only included in the dilaton potential uh, part. So a po key point in the founding literature is that the density in the baryonic matter does dial this lambda goes to, uh, from lambda equal to infinity. Lambda uh, goes to infinity means non-linearization of carrier symmetry. This is non-linear single model. I did not see the detail, but see, yeah. And, uh, Dial this parameter from infinity to zero. To zero goes to this approach. So when the density goes from uh, low, uh, low region to high region, so this we call this uh, goes uh, a higher density region. We call this Dilaton limit fixed point. We use the, this. Uh, so we inco incorporate this to the, to our system. And we, we we think at a high density region, this Dilaton limit fixed point should be uh, 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 should appear. Then we uh, if we we want to include this uh, uh, scale field, uh, scalar field in the system, or Dilaton field system, how can we construct the effective theory? So, of course, we know in QCD, from possibility of QCD, we know there's uh, no uh, IR fixed point. So, uh, uh, then how, how to do it? So, uh, in, in, in this paper, people uh, proposed a method by simply assume, assume, there is a non perturbative IR fixed point in QCD. So at a, yeah, uh, like, like it, then the running of bit function is like this instead of like this. So this is, let me see, this is their uh, assumption. So whether this is right or no, at this moment, actually we checked several references, there are different, uh, different arguments. So there's no definite conclusion. So at this moment, let's simply see this is an assumption. Yeah. So in this case, our world is living very close to this fixed point. So how far away we uh, uh, how far we are away from this fixed point that gives the magnitude of uh, the uh, uh, the scalar field correspond to this symmetry. So in this system, uh, this 
uh, a scalar field could arise uh, uh, by spontaneous breaking of uh, this scale symmetry, which is triggered, let me see, which is triggered by explicit symmetry breaking. This is different from carrier symmetry. Carrier symmetry breaking is triggered by quicker bar condensate, right? But here it's, it's, tri it's, uh, it's triggered by explicit carrier symmetry, uh, scale symmetry breaking, uh, because we live slightly away from this fixed point. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, this is a. Yeah, this is a, this is a new gauge symmetry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is the, uh, is the spade at low density? Sorry. It's spade. Uh, what happens at long at uh, low density? Oh. Yeah, as I said, <laughs> yeah, there, there are this in the past thirty years. There are many many studies by uh, study of this uh, rho meson property at, at low density or no, not even matter free space by looking at this uh, uh, rho meson property. So uh, the, the prediction compared to the data, so it works. The conclusion is like this. But just use this framework. We can, constru we can construct uh, effective theory order by order. Whether the uh. symmetry is broken or, or not at low, at low density? Oh, yes. This, this, this is broken if you uh, parameterize. You know, we, this is the Carroll field. Here we have a symmetry source, right? Here we have another symmetry source. It means this KCL, in addition to pi on, we have a uh, we have another source to uh, relate to this symmetry. So th there is an exponential form of uh, so-called, if you look at the, the quantum number, is, it carries a uh, positive parity quantum number. After the symmetry breaking, like Higgs mechanisms, that particle is eaten by this uh, gauge field to give mass. It gives mass of this field. So this is like a, a Higgs mechanism. The, yeah. Oh, new, uh, new, uh, there's a, hold on. We have a gauge field corresponding to the gauge symmetry, right? So we, we can introduce a uh, new field. In some sense, we can introduce a field. Then that, that uh, new particle here, exponential, uh, that new particle here is eaten by this gauge symmetry, gives the like, standard uh, electroweak theory, gives the, the longi longitude part of this uh, uh, massive vector resonance. Yeah. So new particle is the, the massive. Uh, vector resonance. Yeah. Yeah. So the new yeah. particle is uh, vector, uh, vector Yes, 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 yeah. Yeah, this is, it is included, uh, yeah, it's, it is included in the current derivative here. Yeah. Resonance? Resonance because it can decay to pi pi, like in metaphor free space. <laughs> Then uh, there's a, just in, also in this year, there's some approach based on lattice. Of course, I talk to some lattice people, some people don't believe this, but let me simply refer it here. It suppose at, uh, 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 in their simulation, they find at uh, uh, the uh, density region below, uh, uh, below uh, confinement, there's a, there's, a, there's a temperature region, let me see. There's a temporal region which exists also this uh, uh, care of the scale invariant, oh sorry, this uh, scale invariant region. This uh, can be, uh, this is very similar to the, to the IR fixed point introduced here. Then it means that their prediction is this uh, gives a possibility to introduce massless global objects in this system. Uh, this is a recent approach in this uh, 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 lattice calculation. Uh, then so we, uh, we let me re repeat. Yeah, we use this approach to introduce uh, the lightest uh, scalar meson, which corresponds to F zero five hundred in the P, uh, PDG. So this is a very small. It has a very small mass. It is a nambu Gosson boson uh, of this uh, spontaneous breaking of scalar symmetry, which is triggered by explicit breaking. <laughs> this is <laughs> this expression is very uh, complicated. Uh, I think I spent already f 35 minutes. <coughs> yeah, 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 because yeah, I have, flexible. yeah, yeah. Then, uh, okay, there's some mean field calculation considering this imagine of, of uh, uh, power doubling. Uh, power doubling, I mean, this is, a, anyway, this is a mean field calculation using standard 
effective model to calculate the nuclear mass as a function of density also support this uh, crystal lattice. I, I skip this point. Then, okay, let me go to our model. So, we have topology change which tells us some quantities or parameters in the effective theory first decrease as a function of density, then stay somehow as a constant. So the, some parameters in the effective theory has a, uh, the dependence as a, uh, its density dependence at the low density is different from the high density. So using this idea, we introduce two density dependence parameters in the model. First, also first decrease then stay a constant. We, we don't know, at this moment, we don't know the exact function form of this density dependence. We just know it first decrease, then stay a constant. We can put different functions, then do the calculation. So then our model is what? So this is the, uh, of course, we construct this Lagrangian in the metal free space. But we, we, we think this model works at high uh, density region as I repeated or emphasized uh, before. So first is the Dilaton field, which uh, introduced the scalar meson in the nuclear matter system. Then the vector meson field is included here, the vector meson rho and omega. And then baron field. Remember, we introduced baron field as explicit degrees of freedom. We did not use the uh, description of uh, crystal size topology optic. We just use the tendency or the per we just use the uh, density dependence of the parameter obtained from this crystal uh, simulation. So this is a scale symmetry breaking potential. Then we have some parameters in the model. And uh, as I emphasized before, so F pi from crystal calculation, we know it first decreases the function of density, then stay a constant. Like, and also uh, nuclear mass, or, or this chi, this, oh, I skipped this, yeah, this one. It somehow is a, supposed to decrease, then somehow stay at a constant. We simply uh, use this, also actually we have some uh, comprehensive analysis, also M rho and G rho, blah, 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 some quantities. I, I did not, uh, just, uh, just to express our idea, uh, our idea, I did not uh, put this so boring, uh, expressions. So anyway, we start from this Lagrangian by incorporate the density dependence obtained from uh, uh, mean field calculation like the previous also crystal calculation in the, in, in the model. Make a density dependence, make f pi as a density dependent function and uh, uh, this chi as a density dependent function and uh, also m sigma and also m rho here, oh sorry, m rho is here as a density dependent function then to make a to do calculation. I just use the tendency as I emphasized, obtained from the previous calculation. But tendency, first decay, uh, const, uh, decay as a function of density, uh, decrease, then stay constant. This topological change gives us some idea of the hydron to quark, uh, hydron quark continuity with respect to the chess cat principle. That's why I use this title. And then we make a calculation. We have Lagrangian, we have density dependence. As I said, we just have two scaling behavior, the scaling density dependence behavior, at the low density and at high density. We don't know its function form. We just put it by hand like, like one over one plus something, something, something. Yeah. So then we put this using the uh, kind of, uh, 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 embed this density dependence to the, our Lagrangian, or BS Lagrangian is, is, is this way. Uh, BS HRS. HRS means the hidden flavor symmetry. And the B means baron, we include baron. S means, means we include in, uh, uh, scalar meson. Yeah. Then uh, make this uh, uh, so called uh, low, uh, low, moment, uh, uh, low momentum potential. This is somehow like a, a functional method to include uh, hydron fluctuation. This is somehow like a, uh, like a non probability approach. Uh, of course, as I said, we, 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 we first get some parameter dependence or density dependence in the, uh, in the, in the, in the, in the calculation. As I said, this is, a, we considered uh, meson or hydron fluctuation. This is beyond mean field. Yeah. And, uh, <coughs> and then we predict equation of state of uh, nuclear matter. Then you may ask, we don't know the function. How to, then we can get different kinds of uh, prediction of equal state. 
then how to control this, uh, this parameter in this uh, uh, scaling behavior. So we use the physics nuclear metal property as a low density, as a low density as a constraint of uh, this scaling behavior uh, of this one. Of this one, is a, this one is a constant. We just match at the topology, topology point. Match this with this is enough. Right, this is a constant. So we use the uh, nuclear matter uh, physics or nuclear physics at low density to control this uh, uh, scaling behavior at low density. Then we can predict our uh, equation of state. So somehow we say this is because low density, uh, high density region is fixed by this matching and this, uh, we somehow we say this is a parameter free uh, equation of state for dense nuclear matter. Of course, for, for uh, low density, we should res resort to the uh, nuclear physics data at a low density. Then we get, after this parameterization, we get this, this slide, which I show you at the very beginning. This uh, behavior gives this uh, behavior of uh, <coughs> equilibrium state. So this is our pseudo conformal model. Then what is uh, our prediction? Let's, uh, let's, uh, I skipped many numbers listed uh, uh, here. You can, you can find in our recent papers. So at the low density, this Willow data calculation can be fitted, we find, using this simple function. So we fit this uh, uh, below uh, this topological change by using this, uh, this uh, uh, simple function. At, low, at, at high density, because this satisfies this uh, 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 conformal constraint, you can solve this uh, uh, conformal equation to find this, uh, this uh, parameter, this exponential parameter, one third and minus one. This is controlled by conformal symmetry. Of course, we still have parameter B and D here. This is fitted by matching uh, this region equal state and this region equal state by using the pressure and uh, also energy density. By matching this, we can fix these uh, two parameters. Yeah. Then we calculate this, uh, oh, well, at this, as I said, we only know from a crystal calculation, we only know there's topology change. But we don't know the position of the, the position of topology change. It depends on model. So if you, you include different degrees of freedom, the topology change happens at different, at different uh, density or different crystal size. So we regard it as a parameter. So we chose like a 2N0, 3N0, 4N0 to see what, what will happen. So it, it, it cannot be very uh, low density because, you know, at a very low density, like around uh, N0, we know there are, uh, there are nuclear. It's top low, of course, it's better number one object. It could not be better number half objects. So it, it, it could not, not be so, uh, so low. Anyway, so we choose three typical values to see what will happen. So this is the uh, uh, energy, uh, per nuclear energy as a function of density. Then this, is, this side gives you the uh, <coughs> a pressure as a function of density. Uh, this, this green band is the constraint from uh, astrophysics and heavy ion physics. So this, yeah, these two lines, this corresponds to N equal, uh, N, uh, topological change equal to 4N0 and this is equal to 3N0. So this, uh, Blue band is the constraint from uh, from uh, a neutral star, from, from a gravitational wave detection at uh, six and zero. So this uh, I show you at the very beginning. At high high density, this gives a constraint. Actually, if you look at the constraint, consider this error bar. It should be about this. It's, it's here goes to here. But anyway, from this we get a conclusion. This is uh, our uh, prediction for this. Uh, uh, 3N0, 4N0 satisfies this constraint. Uh, of course, it should be slightly below 4N0, but anyway, 3 and around 4 is OK. Uh, agrees with this uh, 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 observation. Then the uh, neutral star mass is a uh, uh, MR relation. <coughs> this model, this 2, two 3, 4, N0 uh, topological change appears. And find this model gives the maximum neutral star mass above than uh, above two solar mass. So this constraint with uh, this is consistent with the present uh, astrophysics observation. So about this, uh, yes, please.
Yeah, this is a, this is the most uh, this is the most recent uh, announced number. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 When you compute the maximum possible mass yeah, of the yeah. neutron star, yeah. do you take into account the rotation? At this moment, no. My answer is no in our calculation. Yeah. 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 Uh, this one did not calculate it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. just, just my point was just can increase if, if you have maximum mass two more two solar mass mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. rotating star for rotating mm -hmm. maybe yeah you change a little bit uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. okay okay good cool. thank you uh, sorry yeah this is uh, that's the yeah anyway this accommodates uh, two solar mass neutral star in our picture then this is the uh, Tudor deformability observed in the uh, GW detection. Uh, so in the uh, binary system in the GW detection, the, uh, <coughs> the, 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 the constraint actually is the, uh, is the combined mass, this uh, uh, binary system, the, the constraint is like this, the two star system, they combine it, the one point, this value. So uh, we plot this, uh, uh, the 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 total deformability of these two stars uh, in the, in this uh, figure. So first, this side gives you the correlation of the two star total deformability lambda one. I don't know why it's P as this lambda two should be. Yeah. <coughs> the, this correlation between uh, total deformability of these two stars. Uh, of course, the, the star mass should satisfy this constraint. So if I fix one, then the other one is fixed. Then the, this could be calculated. Yeah. This gives you the constraint from GW observation at. Uh, 90% uh, 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 confidence level. So uh, below this uh, is, uh, is within the 90% confidence level. So these three lines gives you, gives you the total deformability uh, of uh, 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 two, three, four uh, topology change. So, uh, so far, this region, uh, this is cons uh, consistent with the uh, observation. Uh, this dot uh, denotes this uh, uh, a Tudor, defor Tudor deformability of uh, 1.4 solar mass uh, neutral star. <coughs> yeah. Then another quantity is, as I said, this is the uh, combined Tudor deformability or mass weighted Tudor deformability for this uh, two star system. So this, this definition of lambda Tudor. Lambda Tudor, if uh, this observation, uh, this, uh, uh, yeah, this. Uh, the, the GW observation gives the, the number of this, the upper value is uh, 80, uh, so, so, uh, 800, and the, the, this, this, this gray, uh, gray area is the constraint from this uh, GW observation. So we choose, uh, uh, we choose lambda, uh, sorry, we choose topological change as uh, two and uh, three. This is two and this is three. So if you look at this number, so we think this uh, topological change uh, two and zero it's uh, somehow it's not so favored by uh, observation. And uh, <coughs> uh, this, uh, for four keys, it's the same as uh, this one. So because this, uh, uh, why I, this is why I plot this figure here. Actually, if you look at this uh, central density, you will find for the neutral star uh, below 1.7 solar mass, the central mass is uh, uh, around three. So if the topological change happens at a, dens a density higher than three, it's beyond the core density, so it does not affect this uh, uh, physics. So that's why uh, four and three keys is similar to this one. So anyway, for topological change happens at three and zero, it's uh, very, uh, how to say, it's, how to say, cannot be excluded by, 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 by uh, observation. And also this is a symmetry energy. Uh, let me skip uh, sound velocity. Okay, now let me go to my summary and the discussion. So our model is like this. We use topology, we, we incorporate, let me say, you guys speak, corporate, incorporate topology change and the emergent symmetry, which is hidden in metal free space to the uh, nuclear physics effective theory. So it inspired us to propose the pseudo conformal structure of uh, uh, dense matter. So the quark hydron continuity is uh, uh, described through the topology change 
So thanks to the CC uh, tracer cat principle. So in stark contrast to what was found in the literature, the PCM, which works well for the normal nuclear matter density, gives this uh, at uh, 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 conform, conformal limit when an, uh, sound velocity approach to 1 over square root of 3. So conformal limit at a density larger than a half and accommodate a massive neutral star up to this is our, 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 our maximum value, so which is consistent with the present observation. So, so far our model has uh, stood the test from both nuclear physics and uh, astrophysics. Oh, just one point concerning this, the uh, star, roti uh, star uh, uh, rotation. Yeah, yeah. So this data is from the very low spin star. So because in our calculation, we did not consider this, the, the rotation of star. So we use the data from the very low star, very low spin star data. So somehow this is, this is consistent. Yeah. So conclusion is, so now our model agrees with data, uh, all the experimental data, including low density and high, de and, uh, high density observation, uh, uh, constraint this topology change from two to four and zero. So it cannot be uh, too high. Uh, oh, I want to, okay. If you go to too high density, if you look at the sound velocity as a function of density, so this, this black line gives you four and zero case. You can find this is beyond the chirality constraint. So density cannot be too high. So density, this topological change density should be below uh, four and zero to, 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 to satisfy the constraint from chirality. So uh, some of the talk is summarized in this, uh, in this book uh, published at the very beginning of this year. And also tomorrow, I think this paper will appear at the archive. So the other part will appear at this, uh, in this paper. So thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you.